you love cookies. In this video... Someone say my name? Well, there she is. Now we can tell you our surprise. Really? Wow. Oh my god, this is going to be amazing. What is it? What is it? Are we getting ice cream? Even better. We're going to Maine. Cue the depressing music. Womp, 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 womp. What? No, Maine's going to be cool. Want to know why? Because the biggest carnival in the world is there. Whoa, look at this place, Molly. It's amazing. OMG. Is that a fun house of mirrors over there? Let's go there next. That sounds so cool. Ooh, look at all these tacos. These are good tacos. If you've never had carnival food, you don't know what you're missing. Mm, I need to eat about 20 more of these. Mmm, so good. Uh, what's up with all the creepy clown costumes? Ooh, is this some sort of horror carnival at some point? Those are terrifying. Oh my gosh, hon, I'm so excited. I can't believe we're going to surprise the girls with a trip to Maine for the biggest carnival in the world. They're going to love this summer trip. And I found the perfect Airbnb. It's like a castle. Look at this. Whoa. Wow. That looks amazing. And only $100 a night? Are you sure there's not something wrong with that Airbnb rental? What? No. It's just, I don't know. It's in Maine. So not a lot of people go there for vacation, I guess. Honey, it's the biggest carnival in the world. Everybody's going. So why is that Airbnb so cheap? Honey, quit being, you know, so crazy about this trip. I'm sure that it's going to be great. I'm booking it. Okay, well, it does look pretty amazing. I just hope it lives up to the photographs on the internet. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Good morning. Oh, good morning. How's summer vacation going, Molly? Perfect. You know why? No school. Also, no school. And lastly, no school. Well... Mom and I have a surprise, but you have to wait till your sister Daisy comes down. Oh, who cares about Daisy? Just tell me the surprise. Good morning. Did someone say my name? Well, there she is. Now we can tell you our surprise. Really? Wow. Oh my God, this is going to be amazing. What is it? What is it? Are we getting ice cream? Even better. We're going to Maine. Cue the depressing music. Womp, 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 womp. Why are we going to Maine? That's where old people go on vacation. Yeah, totally lame. Why are we going to, like, Florida, Miami Beach or something? What? No, Maine's going to be cool. Want to know why? Because the biggest carnival in the world is there. Whoa, sounds amazing. Wait a minute. Is this carnival bigger than Disney? I don't believe it. Well, I don't know if it's bigger than Disney, but we've already been to Disney, so this will be someplace new. Yeah, and we're leaving tonight, so go pack your stuff. Really? Well, a vacation's a vacation, I guess. I'm pretty excited. Hey, Mom. Hey, Dad. Could I drive? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. You're terrible at driving. Ooh. Yeah, we actually want to get to Maine in one piece, Molly. I don't know why they think my driving's so bad. I think my driving is perfection. Yeah, like the time you fell off that cliff and crashed the car in a fiery blaze. Oh, that wasn't my fault. I was reaching for a muffin because I was hungry. And I wasn't paying attention. Ow. The muffin needed to get eaten. Molly, you're not driving. Get in the car. Fine. We're going on a vacation. It's going to be lots of fun. Oh, no. Mom started singing. I love vacation because it's so much fun. Oh, how much longer till we get there? My parents have started singing. I know, right, Molly? It's almost as bad as doing loads of homework. Not quite. Five hours later. Whoa, look at this place, Molly. It's amazing. OMG, let's go down the fun slide first. I haven't been down one of these since I was like two years old, and they are so fun. Yeah, Molly, let's do this. There's so many amazing rides to go down. Oh, I'm going to go on the pink slide. Whee! Ow, in my face. Ow, ow. <laughs> I totally need a do-over on that one. Uh, yeah, Molly. Uh, you're not supposed to go down the slide on your face. Uh, maybe if I try, like, the yellow slide, that will work out better for me. No, nope, still going down on my face! Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> ow! Ow, ow! Okay, maybe the fun slide is more like the injury slide. <laughs> Look at all these cool rides, Molly. Endeavor Space Wars. Ooh, free coins, too. Gotta love free coins. 
Uh, what should we go on next? Everything, Molly. Is that a fun house of mirrors over there? Let's go there next. That sounds so cool. They're creepy, Molly. I'm going to go on a different ride. Okay, well, have fun. But I'm going in the creepy house of mirrors. But before I go to the fun house, ooh, look at all these tacos. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. These are good tacos. If you've never had carnival food, you don't know what you're missing. Mm, I need to eat about 20 more of these. Mm, so good. Okay, how do I get in? <laughs> Everything looks like a doorway, but none of these are doorways. Um, one of these has to be a doorway into the fun house. Found it! Oh, no. Oh, no. Guacamole, this is harder than it looks. Wait, I think I figured it out. Yes, wow. I finally made it to the stairs! Dun, 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 dun. That wasn't as hard as I thought it was gonna be. Uh, what's up with all the creepy clown costumes? Ugh. Is this some sort of horror carnival at some point? Those are terrifying. What? There's more costumes over here? And they're all the same creepy clown. Ugh. I'm out of here. Ugh, that was the creepiest funhouse I've ever been in. So what'd you girls think of your first night at the largest carnival in the world? It was amazing. I rode so many rides I threw up. <laughs> best night of my life. Uh, yeah, best night of my life. What's wrong, Molly? Didn't you have fun? Um, well, I went into this fun house and it wasn't very fun. It was all these mirrors, which was pretty cool. But then there was all these creepy clown costumes. Probably from when they had a lot of clowns at the carnival. They were all the same, though, and their faces were really terrifying. Whoa, glad I didn't go into the fun house then. Honey, well, I'm pumping gas. Why don't you go in with your mom and uh, pick out some snacks? Then we'll head over to the Airbnb. Sounds good, Dad. Do you want anything? Um, yeah. Would you give me a Coke and a bag of Doritos? Sure thing, Dad. Ooh, they have hot dogs, Molly. I've learned my lesson to never eat a gas station hot dog. You will barf your brains out. They're never good. Hmm, let's see. Some Doritos and Dad wants some Coca-Cola. And I want a candy bar. And who cares what Daisy wants? Ow. Molly, try to be nice to your sister. We're on vacation. You folks ain't from around here, is ya? Uh, no, oh, we, we live in Brookhaven. We're just here for the world's largest carnival. Oh, where are you staying? Oh, <laughs> we're staying up at the King Mansion. Looks amazing. Oh, the King Mansion. <laughs> well, good luck to you. <laughs> um, are you okay, mister? Oh, yeah, yeah, chef. Uh, that's uh, $15.99 for the uh, chips and the soda. Dad, I... Wait, don't drive away yet. Why? That guy was creepy. Let's get out of here. Ah, uh, Daisy's still in the bathroom. Ow. Whoopsie! <laughs> Almost for forgot one of our kids. <laughs> Bad parenting fail. Um, well, we don't have to tell her we almost forgot her. Right, Molly? Oh, I'm gonna tell her. I'm totally telling her. Gee, thanks, Molly. Okay, how ready to go? Mom and Dad almost left you here. What? They wouldn't do that, would you, Mom? Would you, Dad? <laughs> Think again, Daisy, because you almost got left at that creepy gas station. Oh, my God. Do I mean nothing to you guys? Um, whoopsie, sorry. <laughs> We're just tired. We need to get to our Airbnb and go to bed. Um, Dad? Are you sure this is the King Mansion? Yeah, this is the address. It looks pretty great, right? Ugh, I knew this was too good to be true. I told you so. What are you talking about? Looks amazing. Uh, Dad, it looks a little bit down. <gasps> uh, are we sure this is an actual Airbnb? There's a sign here that says danger, keep out. That probably just means the moat. You know, don't go swimming in the moat. Really? But then what does this mean? Danger? Crazy people live here? They probably just have a really funny sense of humor. Come on, family. Let's go inside. We never get the opportunity to stay in a mansion. Wow, it's actually pretty nice on the inside, though. Yeah, see? Dad knows where it's at. Why are all these, like, boxes over here? Um, probably because whoever owned this Airbnb doesn't live here anymore. They just rent it out. Something tells me something creepy is going on at this house. Oh, uh, that's just because it's a really old mansion. Wow, look at this over here. It's, it's like you can cook food in this old fireplace. That's amazing. 
All right, family. Uh, we can explore the house more in the morning. It's time for bed. It's really late. Oh, okay, yeah. I am pretty tired. I don't want to sleep here. I don't like it here. Daisy, everything's going to be fine. It's just an old house. Doesn't mean it's haunted or anything. Look, you girls finally get your own rooms. I can't believe I'm going to say this, but I don't want my own room. This house creeps me out. Fine, Daisy. You can bunk up in my room with, with me. But no snoring! Ah, this bed is actually pretty comfortable. Daisy, everything's going to be fine. I hope you're right, Miley. I don't know. I just have a bad feeling about this place. Ah. What was that? Miley, was that you? Um, no, it was probably a ghost in the wall. Miley, how many tacos did you eat at the carnival? Uh oh Um, seven? What? Oh, great. I'm really rethinking my my idea of sleeping in the same room with you if you're going to be farting all night. <laughs> That's just what you have to do. You have to deal with my farts if you want to sleep in here. Well, I guess it's better than the monster getting me. Ah! Whoa, 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 what was that? What? Molly, are you farting more? No, Daisy, I, I just heard something creepy. Go back to sleep, Molly. Oh, it's way late. Molly? Did, did, did you just hear that? What was that? Yeah, Daisy, I, I heard it too. Molly, I don't like this old house. It's really creepy. It's probably just the heating, like, system or something. These old houses are just really creaky and old. Come on, I'm, I'll show you. It's probably not... Why is there balloons in the hallway? I don't know, Molly. They weren't here before, before, were they? I don't remember them being here before. Come on, let's go downstairs and investigate. I think we should wake up mom and dad. Nah, they'll just yell at us for being loud in the middle of the night. They probably wouldn't believe us anyway. Nothing seems strange here. Molly, there's that sound again. It's coming from down there. Oh, great. Always in horror movies, the creepy sound is coming from the basement. We should definitely not go down there. Why, Molly? What happens? Well, usually the people that go into the basement don't return. Oh, um, yeah. This might be a good time to wake up Mom and Dad. I think you're probably right. Come on. <coughs> Mom? Dad? Mom? Dad? Huh? What? What? What is it? There's some creepy sounds coming from the basement. What? Uh, it's probably just an old house and the radiators for the heat are just creaking. That's what Daisy and I thought too, but there's balloons in the hallway, which we didn't leave. Wait, what? Why are there balloons in the hallway? Maybe the welcoming committee was so happy that we're here. Honey, it looks like they haven't dusted, cleaned, or fixed up this house in about 100 years. Pretty sure they didn't leave us any balloons. I'm really freaking out. I want to go home. Don't worry. I'm a police officer. If there's anything in the basement, I'll handle it. Now, come on, family. Let's go together. Why, Dad? Are you afraid to go by yourself? Ah! Well, maybe a little. <laughs> but don't tell anybody. Dad, you have an axe? Yeah, conveniently, it was over here to cut firewood. And now it's going to be to chop somebody in half if they're creepy monsters. Okay, so there's the balloons we were telling you guys about. Okay, Molly, you go first. Really? I'm the kid, Dad! You have the axe! You go first. Ooh! Whoa, it's creepy down here. What is this? There's jail cells in this basement? Um, and also an axe and a collar. Uh, Dad, something tells me this is not the Airbnb you thought it was. Well, it is an old house. I mean, this may be where they kept prisoners, you know, back when it was actually a castle. Uh, yeah, but what were those creepy sounds? Molly, be careful. There may be holes in the floor. I don't want you to fall down into the sewer. You mean like that one over there? <laughs> With the balloons again? This is getting creepier and creepier. I think we're going to check into a hotel in the morning. But in the meantime, let's just try to get some sleep. Sleep? In this creepy place? I don't know about that. Okay, Molly, <laughs> let's try to get some sleep. Your mom and sister are probably already back to sleep already. Yeah, you're probably right. 
Daisy? Ah! Dad! Dad! Daisy's not in her room! Neither is your mom, and all that's here is another thing of balloons! In my room, too! <laughs> what was that? It sounded like it was coming from the basement. Help! And that sounded like Mom yelling from the basement! Dad, we, we have to find out what has Daisy and Mom! Quick! Molly, I think you should stay up here. Keep an eye out. Dad! Molly, I mean it! Stay up there! Don't come down! Many, many minutes later... What's Dad doing down there? He told me not to come down there, but I'm feeling like I really need to. I mean, I can't leave my family to, to, to certain doom. I'm going down there. I have to be brave. I just... I have to be! D -d Dad? M -m Mom? Daisy? was is gone. Mom, I'm coming! Mom! Daisy? Mom, Daisy, say something! Hi, I'm Pennywise. What? It's the creepy clown from the carnival! You'll float too. <laughs> what? Get away from me, you creepy clown! Where's my dad? <laughs> talking about i won this free in a competition <laughs> this is gonna be the best day of our lives wow uh if you say so honey this place looks a little bit well gross yeah. guys come on where's your sense of adventure look at this place it looks amazing well dad what about the sign that says danger keep out oh <laughs> they're just being silly they must have a sense of humor now, come on let's go inside and look around Okay, Dad. I know you're excited about this vacation and, and winning this amazing Airbnb. Wow! It's actually pretty nice on the inside. Told you so. <laughs> this is going to be the best vacation ever, family. You just wait and see. answers when I call. It's so weird. All right, I'm going to try calling her one more time. Come on, Brookie, pick up. Pick up. Pick up. Buddy, who are you calling? I'm calling Brookie because I don't really understand that math homework, and I figured maybe she would. Maybe she'd come over and help me. I'll help you, Molly. Hello? No, Daisy, I don't want you to help me. Why? Because you think I'm so smart? Wait a minute. Did you guys just call me to argue over the phone and have me listen to it? Probably. That's the way Molly is. No, no, it's not. How rude. Sorry, Brookie. My sister's just being really annoying right now. Don't listen to her. Guys, stop arguing when I'm on the phone. I'm going to hang up. I tried calling you like a bunch of times, Brookie, but you didn't answer. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I was trying to figure out this math homework. Jiminy Cricket. So wasn't I. It was really difficult. Yeah. Mm, I just can't figure out number 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, or 15. <laughs> That's pretty much all of it, Brookie. I know. Hey, do you want to come over for a sleepover? Maybe we can figure it out together. I could door dash a pizza. Sounds amazing. I'll be there soon. Okay, bye. I'm going to go take a shower before Bookie gets here. Okay, fine. Whatever. Do I look like I really cared what you were doing? Molly, woo! Ugh. Sisters. Rookie, what, what is it? Do you need to know what pajamas to pack or something? I like the ones with strawberries on them. They're adorable. 
<laughs> I see you. Uh, Brookie? That's not very funny. Stop pranking me now. Do you like scary movies? Uh, not really. Who is this? <laughs> huh, creepy prank caller. Goodbye. Buddy, I can't believe you pranked me like that. Wait, what? What are you talking about? I just got a prank call. What? No, it said you called me. Well, it said Brookie called me. Well, somebody definitely was Wobo calling us then because it was creepy. Yeah, tell me about it. The person who called me said, I see you, and do you like scary movies? Uh, yeah, that's exactly what they said to me. Uh, that kind of creeps me out. Nah, it was probably just Sarah the bully or something being totally mean to us. Don't worry about a thing. Now, go take your shower before Brookie gets here. You don't want to be smelly, do you? Yeah. I'm never smelly. You're the one that doesn't ever take a shower, Molly. I take a shower, like once a week, if I really need it. <laughs> oh, Brookie! <laughs> I'm so excited to see my best friend. Hey, Molly, are you ready for the sleepover? Sure am. Huh. It was a little bit crazy, though, before you got here. What were you talking about? Well, somebody, like, used your number to call me and prank me. Wait, what? Are you serious? Yeah, and they have a really creepy voice and stuff, but I'm just sure it's, like, Sarah the Bully from school or something. Oh, that is creepy. Well, come on, let's go work on that math homework. Yeah, and then I have a new scary movie I want to watch. How about you? I don't know, a scary movie? Especially after a creepy call? It's gonna be fine, Brookie. I'm sure it was just somebody from school pranking us. Now come on, let's go work on that math homework so we can get it over with. Homework is not my favorite thing. Me either, Molly. So I think for number five, the answer should be 236. What do you think, Brookie? Well, uh, that's what I got too, so I'm thinking that must be the right answer. Okay, cool. Uh, so we just have, like, two more problems to go. Should I make some popcorn? I'm starting to get really hungry. Hey, guys! Um, are you guys ready to, um, watch a movie or something? Well, we do still have two more problems of our homework to go, but I suppose we could do it in study hall tomorrow before class. I really want to watch this scary movie. Me too. Really? You really do? Yeah, you convinced me, Molly. I'm sure that was just a prank call. Nothing creepy or anything like that. It did sound creepy. Wait, you got the prank call too? Yeah, I got it. Was it from my number? No, it was from Molly's number. Are you sure Molly wasn't pranking us the whole time? She could be. You just never know with Molly sometimes. Eat the popcorn, guys. It looks super delicious. Oh, man, you made it extra buttery. My favorite. I'm just going to sit over here and uh, eat the whole thing. Molly, give us some. <laughs> All right, I'll get you guys a bowl so you can have some too. Whoa, Molly, don't enter the house at midnight. This new movie looks so scary. Yeah, it totally does. I'm going to take a Snapchat of us um, watching this scary movie. Okay, everybody get behind Brookie so we can do a Snapchat. Uh, Daisy, are you coming? Yeah. I was just still eating some of my popcorn, and I didn't want popcorn corners in my teeth. <laughs> All right, everybody, um, tell us, tell everybody what you're doing. I'm eating delicious buttery popcorn with my best friend and my annoying sister, and we're about to watch a new movie. Molly, it's a scary movie, and um, we're pretty excited about it, especially since we got a prank call tonight. Yeah, you guys, that was so crazy and creepy. All right, well, that's the end of our snap. Okay, let's watch the movie. Actually, first I'm going to go upstairs and go to the bathroom, okay? Um, Because I drank way too much soda. Oh, I got our snap. Oh, look at us. We look adorable. I love it. Oh, my gosh. My phone is buzzing. Well, maybe Bookie's out of toilet paper or something. You don't ever change a toilet paper roll, Molly. <laughs> yeah, that's probably what it is. What? It's a Snapchat from outside our house. It just says, he, 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 he. Like, it's in the backyard. What? That's creepy, Molly. Our backyard is completely fenced with like an eight-foot-tall fence. Who could that be? Um, I don't know. 
Stay away from the windows, Molly. I don't want you to see something creepy. Well, I don't know if I should call 911 or what. What? What's going on, guys? I just got a snap just sent specifically to me. And it said, like, ha, ha, ha. And it was from our backyard. And it was a picture of, like, a snap of, like, me and Daisy from outside. What? That's so creepy. Do you think this has anything to do with it? With the phone call you got earlier? Um, I, I don't know. I, I don't think so. How'd they get in our backyard? It's totally creepy. Well, I mean, if you call the police, you couldn't really say anything because I don't see anyone in your backyard. Let's just ignore it happened and watch the movie. What? Whoa. I just got another stamp, Molly, and you're not going to like it. What? Why? What is it? Do you <laughs> like scary movies? Ha! Ah, that's exactly what the person on the phone said. And it looks like they took a picture of us from the front of the house. O-M-G. Oh my gosh, my phone is ringing. Should I answer it? Um, maybe it's your mom. That would be a good thing if it was your mom. Yeah, answer it, Brookie. You definitely should. Okay. Um, hello? Do you like scary movies? Oh my god, guys. It's him. Um, who are you and why are you pranking us? Yeah, good question, Brookie. Good question. <laughs> I see you. Ah, uh, I, uh, uh, where do you see us? Ask him that. Where do you see us? I'm right outside your house. <laughs> now tell me, what's your favorite scary movie? I don't like scary movies. I changed my mind. Tell him we only like to watch Coco Ballet or Blippi or, um, you know, something like that. Something really fun. No scary movies here. Nope, nope, nope. We don't like scary movies. You don't? <laughs> I think you're watching one right now. Um, well, then you're not looking good because we turned the TV off like five minutes ago there, genius. Who's that? Put her on the phone. Oh, no, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> you got nowhere to go. I'm outside your house. Brookie, hang up the phone. Hang it up. Um, goodbye. You're being really rude. What are we going to do? Um, we're going to go upstairs and... Lock the door. Come on! All right, guys, which room would be the safest? Probably the one with the least amount of windows. This one seems the safest. Okay, okay, okay. Molly, don't lock me out. What are you doing? Sorry about that. Okay, um, see if we can see him down below. I, I don't see him anywhere. <laughs> Dizzy, quit closing the curtains. I can't see anything. I don't want him to see us either, Molly. Okay, well, so far I don't see him anywhere. So I think that's probably a good thing. Huh. Are we safe? I don't know who that guy is, but maybe we should call 911. Good idea. I'm calling the police. Are they answering, Molly? It's still ringing. 911? What's your emergency? There's this creepy guy. He's outside our windows. Or outside our house, I mean. And and he Frank called us and then he was taking pictures on Snapchat outside our house. And 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 I, I I'm just freaking out because I think he might be a crazy psycho. And can you send a police officer over like right away? It's me, my sister, and my friend that are here. So you need a police officer? Uh yeah. Right away. I have a question for you before I send a police officer out. Okay. What is it? Do you like scary movies? Ah! Oh my god! How did you get? How did you get on this phone line? <laughs> I hacked it. I know which room you're in. <laughs> oh, you're all in trouble now. Okay, I have a plan. My mom has an iPad in the other room. I bet he doesn't have any hacked access to that. Yeah, Molly, it is a super old iPad. He wouldn't even know about it. Well, one of us needs to be brave enough to go in there. Uh, uh, I'll do it, guys. Uh, it's the least I can do. I mean, because you guys are my best friends. Brookie, no! I have to, guys. It's, it's for the good of us all. Okay, Brookie, we'll just get the iPad and run right back here, okay? Good luck, Brookie. Stay safe. What? I got another Snapchat? Oh, no. This can't be good. Wait. What is that? 
It's, it's, it's a picture of us from the the, the, the the room that we're in. What? Where's that iPad? I need to find it really fast and then go back and be with Molly and Daisy. I'm afraid to be in here by myself. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Okay, think. Where would I put an old iPad and a charger for it too? Maybe it's in the nightstand. I don't know. I mean... <laughs> what? What? Who are you? Ah! Ah! Oh my god. I tried to hide in the crib, but he still sees me. <laughs> Why does Laura have a baseball bat next to her bed? Oh well. I don't care. It's time to... Well, meet your doom, you evil thing, whatever. Who, what are you, a monster, like a demon? <laughs> you can't take me down. I can't be killed. Well, I wasn't planning on that, but I'm pretty sure this baseball bat upside your kneecap is going to feel pretty good. You can't take me. Oh, that hurt. Yeah, right. I can't take you down. Try messing with Brookie Cookie ever again. <laughs> Daisy, what was that sound? I don't know. It sounded like a fight in the other room. Do you think that that guy got in and 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 got Brookie, our best friend? What would we do if something ever happened to her? I don't know, Molly, but we have to go try to rescue her. Okay, we have to be brave. What? There's the killer. Brookie, what are you doing? Well, I totally hit him with a baseball bat. <laughs> he didn't like that very much. And now I'm taking a Snapchat to show everybody this creepy guy who is obviously going to prison now. I just wanted to... I, I, I wanted to know if you like scary movies. Um, well, uh... <laughs> Brookie, that snap is awesome! Okay, let's read some text. Some, I'm going to text it on it. Wait, I want to take a Snapchat and send it. <laughs> Look at this, guys. We captured this guy. And we're gonna call the police. Oh, let's like let's give him a funny face. <laughs> Look at that, guys. Well, that's too funny. Let's give him a rainbow face. La 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 la. <laughs> Ghost face, what do you think of that, huh? Oh yeah, look at that, guys. Let's send this to everybody. <laughs> I can't believe you can't do such brats. Do 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 do. So, Ghostface, this is the end of you. Here's some daisies for you. I wonder if this ever happens to Jason, Freddy, Chucky. <laughs> Make sure you boop that like button for a delicious cookie. Do my eyes deceive me? Molly, what are you doing? I'm vacuuming. What does it look like? It looks like you're doing chores. And I want to know who are you? Because you're definitely not my sister. Why are you vacuuming? Um, because mom said if I vacuumed, I can have Brookie over for a sleepover. Wait, what? Are you serious? Yeah, and I really want a sleepover, so I'm cleaning up. OMG, a sleepover sounds like so much fun. And I can see you're really wanting to have one because you're actually doing chores. Yep, and I'm almost finished. So I'm going to call Brookie and see if she wants to come over. It's ringing! Of course it is, Molly. It's her phone. Um, okay, she just answered. Hey, Molly, what's up? Hey, Brookie. Um, so I was just wondering, what are you doing tonight? Nothing. I'm just kind of bored. What about you? Mom said they could come over for a sleepover if you want. Seriously? Um, yeah, but I'm starving. So do you have lots of food in your house? Um, let me go look in the refrigerator and see what we have. What? We have no food. Mom didn't go to the grocery store yet. Uh, yeah, Molly, I'm gonna make a pass on that, um, sleepover then. What? No, Brookie! We get DoorDash. All right, now you're speaking my language. Uh, what time do you want me to come over? Like, um, now? Molly, she still has to pack her suitcase and stuff. Yeah, Molly, I totally have to pack my suitcase, but then I'll come over. Uh, what should we door dash? I don't know, Chinese, pizza, um, what are you, what are you feeling? Do you, do you want some tacos? Ooh, tacos, that sounds delicious, except for when Molly eats bean burritos, it's a bad sleepover for, for everybody. <coughs> well, I don't know what you're talking about. You know exactly what I'm talking about, Molly. Okay, Molly, well, I'll see you soon, okay? Okay, bye, Brookie. Yay! She's coming for the sleepover. I'm so excited. 
Yeah, this is gonna be a really good time. Wait a minute, who said you were invited to sleep over? <gasps> what? I, I live here, of course I'm invited. You said that you didn't want tacos, and I love tacos. Uh, Molly, Brookie's not gonna stay for very long if you're farting at the sleepover. Yeah. <laughs> okay, maybe we should order a pizza then. Whoa, creepy. The Roomba just went off all by itself and I didn't even tell it to. I swear, our Roomba is totally possessed. Okay, I just got to pack my hair dryer, my hairspray. Um, I should probably make a list. I'm gonna need tons of stuff. I wonder if Molly also wants me to like bring some popcorn because she said she didn't have any at her house and I really wanna eat popcorn if we're gonna watch a movie. I'm gonna text her right now and see if she wants me to bring it. I'm all set to go. I'm so excited for this sleepover. It's gonna be so much fun. Molly, she's still here, right? Oh yeah, she's just getting in her pajamas for this party. She said she wanted to get comfy cozy. The queen of the sleepover has arrived. Um, hey Molly, uh, are you wearing pajama bottoms with potatoes on them? <laughs> They're happy potatoes because they didn't turn into french fries, get it? <laughs> Molly, you're so funny. Um, yeah, that joke was kind of crazy. Uh, yeah, it was hilarious, though. You just don't have a sense of humor. So, Brookie, what do you want to do first? Yeah, but I don't have a sense of humor. I'm hilarious, Molly. Um, well, first, I think you two sisters should stop fighting. This, that's not a very fun sleepover. Okay, sorry, Brookie. Don't go home. We're really bored, and we don't want you to leave. Yeah, Brookie, we've been really excited that you're coming over. I really love your potato pajamas. They're adorable, Molly. Thanks, Brookie. So what game should we play first? Or should we door dash or something? Uh, yeah, let's play a game and then door dash. All right, Brookie, uh, you can just take your suitcase and put it in the laundry room. That way you don't have to like carry it all the way up the stairs right now. You can just stick it in there. Oh, oh sorry, Molly, you didn't mean to run into you. Ow, you wheeled over my foot with your suitcase. Ah, call the paramedics, wee -oo, wee -oo, wee -oo. Oh my God, are you okay? Yeah, I'm just fine. I'm being ridiculous right now, but I'm just trying to be funny. Oh, first you were laughing about the pajamas and making a joke about french fries and stuff, and now you're just pranking me. Ah, oh, Molly, you're just, well, Molly. Yeah, I couldn't be anybody else even if I tried. I wish you would sometimes, Molly, be just a little less, well, Molly. Not a chance! I am me and I am awesome! All right, I have a perfect game. Everybody come in and sit down. So Molly, what game are we gonna play? Truth or dare? <laughs> oh no, this never ends well. Okay, um, I'm gonna go first since I thought of it. Brookie, truth or dare? Um, um, I'm so nervous, I don't know what to pick. Okay, truth. Okay, all right, here we go. This question has been in my mind for like two weeks now. Do you remember when there was somebody who farted in gym class? Uh-oh. Uh, yeah. And everyone just blamed it on the sewer from the toilet. But I'm pretty sure it was you, Brookie. So my question is, did you fart in gym class? Um, uh, uh. Don't look at your phone like you're trying to avoid it. Answer the question. I, um, uh. Well, you have to answer when you're playing Truth or Dare. Maybe I should just go home. You, you can't just, like, get out of Truth or Dare by doing going home. You, you have to just, like, you have to answer. Okay, yes! I farted in gym right in front of the boy I had a crush on, and it was so embarrassing. There, are you happy with the truth? Very happy. <laughs> I knew it. Okay, now I get to ask somebody. Um, Daisy, Truth or Dare? I don't like this game. Daisy. Okay, I pick, um, Dale. All right, I dare you to look super ugly on Snapchat. <gasps> what? 
That's the worst deal ever for a person who's still like me. Uh, Daisy, you have to do it. You picked dare. Fine. <laughs> Good one, Brookie. Can't wait to see this Snapchat come in. I can't believe I'm about to send this Snapchat. This is so embarrassing. <laughs> I can't wait to see this. It's going to be funny. Yeah, totally. Truth or Dare is one of my favorite games ever. Here it is. <laughs> Daisy, what's going on with your hair? Well, I teased it up a little bit. What are you wearing? Something from your closet. No, you're not. <laughs> I am, Molly. You wear all sorts of ugly stuff. Ooh. Um, no. Look at my adorable unicorn sweatshirt. Are you guys going to fight this entire sleepover? Uh, no, I don't think so. Uh, who's hungry? Because I am. I'm so hungry. I'm going to door dash right now. I've never seen anybody so excited about door dash than you, Molly. I know. I love door dash. It makes me want to jump in the air. So, Molly, what did you order? Um, I was super hungry, and you should never order DoorDash when you're starving. Uh, so I ordered, like, one of everything. One of everything? One of everything what? Tacos, Chinese food, pizza, you name it. Pretty much all of it's going to be delivered. OMG, Molly! Well, I guess we're going to have full tummies when we finish out our sleepover. Finish our sleepover? Oh, no. We're getting to the best part. After we eat our food, it's time for creepy stories. Oh, uh, Molly, I'm not so sure about that. Yes, creepy stories, we're doing it. Uh, is this the house? Uh, no, I don't think that's it. Wait, wait, why doesn't anybody put their addresses on their mailbox? Ugh, I can never find out what address I'm actually going to. Okay, yeah, I, okay, I think this is actually the driveway. All right. Molly, are you just gonna sit there or are you gonna come back for truth or dare? Um, I door dash, so I'm waiting for my door dash. Um, Molly, you can sit in here. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, the ring camera just ran off. Okay, they're here with our food. Hi, door dash delivering, like, all the food in the entire Roblox game. Like, jeepers, we have, like, a huge party. Uh, no. Me, my sister, and my friend, but, um, we're really hungry. Yeah, that's it. Okay, well, thanks for the food. Uh, are you gonna give me a tip? Um, um, sorry, I don't really have money for a tip right now. I have like a quarter. Uh, I hate this dog! Sorry! Food's here! Food's here! Ooh, that looks delicious. You got so much food for us. Yeah, well, I just wanted you to have the best time at this sleepover ever. Alright, guys, let's go eat. This sweet and sour chicken is delicious. Mm, so good. I like the pizza, Molly. Mmm, this is delicious. You want to try a bite? Um, yeah, but do I have to share my sweet and sour chicken with you? Uh, I guess not, Molly. Okay, you can have a little bit. <laughs> Since you are my best friend. Uh, gee, thanks, Molly. Ugh, I'm so full. I've got to go put my fat pants on. <laughs> Your fat pants? Yeah, basically they're the pants that have an elastic waistband. So basically my stomach can, can continue to grow as my food gets farther and farther into my tummy. I call them my fat pants. <laughs> I need a pair of fat pants. Wow, Ricky, you look super cozy. I am, Molly. I told you these are my coziest pants ever. Oh, I'm so full from all of that sweet and sour chicken. So worth it though, so worth it. Come on, Daisy, hurry up with putting your pajamas on. I have an extremely creepy story to tell you guys. I think it might even be true. Are you ready for this creepy story? I'm not sure, Molly. It's almost time to go to sleep and I might have nightmares. Yeah, Molly, you sure? Yeah. Don't you want to hear my creepy story? I am pretty curious, but don't make it lame. Yeah, Molly. If you're going to make it a scary story, make it really scary. The scariest part about this is it could be true. What? No, Molly, you're just pranking us. No, seriously. I was on TikTok the other day and I saw this and it was crazy. Really? What was it, Molly? So, apparently, if you go in the bathroom at night and you get on Snapchat and you look in the mirror and say Bloody Mary three times, 
she will appear in your Snapchat. Wait, what? I've heard the story of Bloody Mary before, but I've never heard that she'd appear on your Snapchat. Me either, Molly. I don't think that's true. Well, we can test it. <gasps> um, no, I don't think so. <laughs> I'm good with not knowing if that's really true or not. Yeah, Molly, that seems kind of creepy. You really would test it? I think so. When she appears on your Snapchat, you have exactly three days until she comes for you. Wait. What? Yeah, Molly, don't try that. Well, <laughs> that was the creepiest story ever. I'm probably never going to sleep now. You'll be fine, Brookie, because you're not going to actually say Bloody Mary three times. But I think I am. Why, Molly? Because someone said it's true, and I want to know. I mean, what could she possibly do? Someone on Snapchat can't really hurt you. Um, Molly, I'd be careful. Bloody Mary is not someone to mess with. Yeah, I like you too, Luke. Um, I think Brookie is having a dream about Luke. Wait, does she have a crush on him? <laughs> well, I'm not sleeping at all, because it's almost 12.30 at night, and I really want to see if I go in the bathroom and say Bloody Mary into the mirror while making a Snapchat. She really does appear. I mean, what's the worst thing that could happen? Sure, I'll go to the dance with you, Luke. You're so cute. Ugh, I can't believe she has a crush on Luke. Ew. Yeah. Really could happen. It's just a myth, like, right? I mean, I don't know. I, I think it's just a fib. It's just a myth, a prank. It can't really happen. Um, but I am gonna try it because she can't hurt us. Even if if Bloody Mary does appear, it's like so what? I mean, she's just gonna be on my Snapchat. And I'd probably be pretty popular in school, too. All right. Well, here, here goes nothing. B -b 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 Come on! Be brave, Molly! B -b 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 can't make myself say it! Bloody Mary! <sighs> I'm kind of scared. B -b -b Bloody Mary! B -b Bloody Mary! I knew it. It's a myth. Why is my phone going off at like one o'clock in the morning? Look at that possibly. Ah! What, what, what is that? Is that Bloody Mary? Oh my god, I actually said her name! She's behind Molly and 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 Oh my god, this is so bad. I, I, oh my god, I gotta wake up Daisy. Daisy was not gonna believe this. I believe it because I see it too. Bloody Mary is standing behind Molly in her Snapchat! Oh my god, this is crazy! Huh? What, what are you guys yelling about? Molly, did you... Did you say you know what into the mirror when you were Snapchatting? <laughs> yeah, nothing even happened. Really? Well, look at this. Molly, this means it's only a matter of time for, before she comes back for you. Wait, what? Let me see that. Ah! Look, why is she standing behind me? I saw that snap, and, and there was nobody there. Molly, she she was behind you the whole time. Um, uh, time to move to Brookhaven. Or Bloxburg. Or, um, I don't know, throw away Roblox completely. Uh, what? No, Molly. Bloody Mary can find you anywhere. That's how this goes. How do you know? Just Googled it. Oh, Google knows everything. Oh, God, we're in so much trouble. Who mentioned, Molly, you're in so much trouble. We didn't say Bloody Mary. Uh, yes, you did. Ah! Oh, my God, I've said it twice. Don't say it again, or she's going to be after you. Well, you didn't say it while you were looking in a mirror, so you should be okay. Um, can you see re your reflection in your phone? Yeah. Well, that's mirror enough. <laughs> Don't say her name even one more time. Oh, my God. Molly, I mean, you're an annoying sister and all, but I never wanted Bloody Mary to come get you. Well, I don't know what to say, guys, but this is probably going to be my last ever. Mm. This pizza is so delicious. Mm, so good. I think I'm going to have this, and then I'm going to have the leftover Chinese food, and... Molly, what are you doing? You're eating, like, so much food right now. Well, I figured this is my last day alive. 
I should make it worth it by eating everything I love. Ugh. But I should borrow Brookie's fat pants because my pants are getting a little tight. Valley, take this seriously, please. Call the police. Daisy, I can't call the police on Bloody Mary. She's not even really alive. She's just like an evil spirit or something. Police aren't going to be able to do anything. Oh my god, Valley, this is terrible. Mm. Oh, it's Bloody Mary! Oh no, it's just Brookie. Hey, Brookie, why are you crying? Because, Molly, today is the last day I'm ever going to see my best friend. Ooh. Is that pepperoni on that pizza? Yeah, you want some? Sure. <laughs> Guys, I still think that this might be just a fluke or something. No, Molly, I think that it's really probably, well, the end of you. Yeah, Molly, we're going to miss you. Okay, everybody stop being so crazy crazy right now. <laughs> um, I'm going to be fine. Okay, if you say so. I'm gonna go outside and get some fresh air. It's getting a little crazy in here right now. I just, I need to, I need to get out of here. Wow, my sister and my best friend are really taking this seriously. I mean, I, I don't think that Bloody Mary is really real. <sighs> I'm gonna do a snap just cause, I don't know. Uh, it makes me feel better if I can just like do a silly snap and like look at this one. <laughs> That's so adorable. La 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 la. Everyone thinks this is the last day of my life, but the day's almost over, and I don't see Bloody Mary anywhere, so I'm thinking I'm probably just fine. What is wrong with this phone? My battery life isn't low. Ugh, my snaps aren't working. Ugh! I need a new iPhone, like seriously. There we go. It's working again. Ah! This is, this is, this is Bloody Mary on my Snapchat! Ah! Okay, it's just on Snapchat. It's not real. It's not real! person like someone's chasing her what is she doing ah bloody mary please don't kill me please oh my god she's chasing me oh um, molly are you okay what can't you see bloody mary she's chasing me Blah! um no molly we don't see anything ah, ah! wait a minute i think she's gone i i ah, no she's back ah, oh my god she just kissed me your stitch t-shirt oh, oh. <laughs> thanks luke <laughs> i i just got it oh molly and luke sitting in a tree daisy be quiet <laughs> okay class i have a question for you specifically molly <laughs> to be or not to be to be or not to be what hungry because i'm always hungry we haven't pizza for lunch today molly no she's talking about our homework did you even do it Daisy, shh! I'm talking so much today. Molly, did you actually study and do your homework? Um, yeah. Uh, I, um, I, I had a lot that I was doing, and homework and studying was not on the list. That's it, Molly. I've had it with you. You are banished to the library. To the library? What am I going to do there? Um, uh, Molly, typically people read books when they're at the library. You know those things that you just never spend any time with? I read books sometimes. Yeah, books about Roblox. You're supposed to be reading Shakespeare. Shakespeare? Who's that? Exactly, Molly. Today at 3 p.m., you will go to the library until midnight. Midnight? Uh, I don't know. You're gonna have to ask my mom about that. That's past curfew. Trust me. She's going to be fine with it because you are gonna spend the entire time doing and studying books. Um, I can just go to 
attention. I mean, at least there I can take a nap. No! You are banished to the library! Ugh! Molly, turn your frown upside down. We're having pizza today. I'm not feeling very hungry. What? What? W what's wrong, Molly? I got banished to the library, and this is the first time Luke actually asked me to hang out with him outside of school. <gasps> oh, man, you have a date with Luke, and you're going to miss it? Well, maybe he'll come to the library with you. Um, yeah, I doubt it. That sounds like a really boring date. Well, you never know. I mean, I like books. That's because you're a nerd, Daisy. I'm a nerd, and I'm proud of it. Come on, Molly. It can't be that bad. Just explain to him you can't hang out tonight. Oh, this is the worst day ever. Molly, just go eat some pizza. I'm sure it'll make you feel better. Nothing's going to make me feel better. Nothing. Hey, Luke. You look great today. Oh, hey, Brittany. So, um, you have any plans after school? Well, I did, but they sort of got ruined. Oh, that's so sad. Why don't I take you to the ice cream shop and get you a triple scoop of ice cream? That should make you feel better. Yeah, I love ice cream. Sure, why not? I'll go. Ugh, this day just got even more terrible. Oh, man. So boring. What book was I supposed to read? Shakespeare? Shakespeare? I don't remember. Our wasps jerks. <laughs> I don't need to read that book to know. Of course they are. They just sting you just to be rude. What other books are in here? Hmm. Five minutes later. <sighs> this book about Shakespeare is so boring. I mean, they don't even speak English. It's like, to be or not to be. Does this make any sense to this person? No, it doesn't make any sense to me at all. Throwing this book away. Oh, I'm so bored. So bored! I've got to see if there's a book in here that doesn't make me want to, you know, just crawl under this carpet and, and, and cease to exist! I'm being dramatic right now, but seriously, this is so boring. I don't know what to do with myself. Our school library has a horror section? <gasps> Now things should get kind of entertaining. I mean, I hope. It's still a book. What's this? Tiki Tiki? This looks creepy. What was that? Uh, I'm just probably freaking myself out right now. Because, you know, I'm in the library all by myself. And it's getting late. And it's, it's just nothing, I'm sure. Plus, I'm reading this scary story. So I'm just freaking myself out. And it's nothing. Don't be a baby, Molly. This Tiki Tiki book is already creepy. Even the color's creepy. Masito was telling her brother Gangi and his friends Nico and Suki the tragic story of Kama Kenoshita, which became known as Tiki Tiki. Kama would always cut across the railroad tracks on her way home from school. But on this one day, the station master switched the tracks just as Kama was crossing. This caused her foot to get stuck between the tracks and she fell to the ground. No matter how hard she tried to break free of the track, she couldn't do it. Oh my god, this is terrifying. A crowd of people began to form on the overpass. They looked on in disbelief, but none of them offered to help. They just talked about how awful it was. Kama turned and waved to the people on the overpass, asking them for help, but she got no response. She didn't understand. Why would no one answer her? And then the worst possible thing that could happen, happened. A train came barreling down the tracks, heading directly towards Kama. Kama was now absolutely terrified because the train showed no sign of slowing down. She screamed frantically and waved her arm to the people on the bridge. No one on the bridge or nearby did a thing. They just continued to stare and look on in shock. <gasps> Masito said with a sad and concerned look on her face. So what happened to Kama? Masito took a moment, then said, The train! It ran over her! Ah! Oh, this book is terrible! But it doesn't end there, Masito warned. 
Kama's spirit returned with just her upper body and took revenge on those who refused to help her. She carries a sickle to make people look just like her. In two pieces, she walks on her hands and because of her long, sharp nails, it makes a sound like tiki, 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 tiki. Ah, she's so freaky! But she stopped though, right? Suki asked. No, Masito said. She continues to go after anyone who is like the people on the overpass. Those who don't help others in need. But she must always be near a train station to remain in this world. Mishido finished. A long silence followed after Mishido had finished telling the story. Gengi then broke the silence. I think her spirit is angry! Because no one cared about her. After he got home, Genga spent the night researching everything he could find about Kama. She died at Hedda Station, which was just a few towns over. Gengi decided he would go there the next day to show Ka Kama respect. Gengi arrived at Hedda Station safely and wasted no time. He walked briskly out of the station and headed straight for the location where Kama had been hit by the train. Once Gengi arrived at the place Kama that had died at, he laid down his white chrysanthemum flowers and prayed for her spirit's peace. You see, Kama, people do care about you. Please be at peace and harm no one ever again, Gengi pleaded. Before retiring to bed for the night, Gengi stared out his bedroom window into the world outside and offered one last prayer to Kama. Rest in peace, dear Kama, forever, he said gently. <laughs> It wasn't long before Genga was abruptly awoken up by a loud, scratching noise. It sounded as if someone was dragging their nails across the glass on the balcony doors. He jumped up from his bed and cautiously tiptoed slowly towards the balcony doors. As he did, he began to hear his name being whispered in a raspy voice. Gengi! Gengi! Genki reached the balcony doors and to his shock, he could see Kama's shadow through the glass. He jumped backwards in fear when he saw her sickle. Don't be afraid, Genki. I just wanted to be your friend, she said in a cackled voice. Then, Genki woke up. Boom! It was all a dream! <gasps> Was it a dream? I started to think that maybe it was not a dream after all. The next morning, Gengi met with the girls and told them about the horrible dream. They too were shocked and frightened, but quickly assumed it wasn't real and that Gengi should calm down and forget it ever happened. Gengi realized they were probably right and thanked the girls for the support they had given him. Miko went to Gengi and hugged him tightly, telling him that everything would be all right. But someone was watching. That someone was Kama, and all she saw was that hug. Nico and Gengi were just friends, but that is not the way Kama saw it. She saw Nico as a threat. That was no dream Gengi had. It was real! Gengi! Later that night, Nico headed to the train station to catch a train to see her grandmother a few towns over. She walked along. She had the strange feeling that she was being followed. She swore she could hear someone behind her. Nika was very nervous now and picked up her pace. The sound she was hearing became louder and louder and seemed to be getting closer and closer. But each time she looked behind her, she couldn't see anyone. Nico trotted towards the stairs leading up to the tracks where she heard a very loud scratching sound like sharp metal being dragged along the concrete. She quickly whirled around to see what it was. Sirens blared throughout the neighborhood and word about what happened spread quickly. Gengi, Masito, and Suki rushed to the scene and heard that the victim was Nico. They burst into tears and sold each other as best they could. They were broken completely. Gengi's mind was racing. He needed to be alone to talk, walk, and think so he could be 
Okay, I have to start this page over because this book is insane! Pinky's mind was racing. He needed to be alone to walk and think. So he pulled away from Masito and Suki and took off. As the rain began to fall, he put the blame on himself for what had happened to Nico. Slowly, his rage began to build. Finally, the pain became too much for him and he dropped to his knees and screamed out in anger. Kama! I tried to help you! How could you do this? To his astonishment, he heard a reply. A raspy voice spoke. I will not let anyone come between us, Genki. Ever! Genki stood up defiantly, but he kept his cool. He knew he would have to put an end to Kama's evil ways, but how? Then he thought of one way to get rid of Kama once and for all. But he might have to make the ultimate sacrifice to do it. Genki sprinted home and immediately went online. He researched for an abandoned train station that he could lure Kama to that was far enough away that everyone would be safe. He found one that had been abandoned long ago and it was very far away. But first Genki had to make one stop, had a station. He went to where Kama was hit by the train and spoke to her. My dear Kama, I found the most lovely, peaceful place that I thought we could go together. I will see you there, Kama. I'll be waiting, Genga said calmly. Genki looked all around the outside of the depot. It was perfect for his plan. He went inside this abandoned building to have a look. Inside the depot, there were overturned chairs and a table. There was also some chains on the floor. That's perfect, Genki thought. He can lure her here onto a chair and chain her up. Suddenly, Genki was startled by the sound of a raspy voice. Hello, Genki, the voice said. It was Kama. Genki whirled around in shock to see her before him holding her sickle. She seemed faded and weak, but still dangerous. Hello, Kama, Genki said softly. I am very weak from the long travel. Going from station to station makes me fade from this world. But as you can see, when I am near you, I come back to life. Kami explained as her color came back completely. Maybe you should come sit down here, Genki offered, pointing to the chair. Kama was silent as she stared at Genki intensely. Why, Genki, so you can chain me up like you planned? She asked slowly. I can hear your thoughts, Genki. I know what you wanted to do with me. But I'm sorry to tell you, it's not going to happen. She continued sternly. Kama slowly fo fo farted. Yeah, <laughs> she farted up from the ground. <laughs> Molly, you're always thinking about bean burritos and farts. Kama slowly fo floated up from the ground as Genki stepped backwards. I'm deeply saddened. You wanted to reject me. Just like those monsters on the overpass did. But I'll give you a second chance. A chance that will keep us together forever. Kama said in an evil tone. No, Kama, please! Genki begged. <gasps> but it was too late. She was already upon him. Nobody ever saw or heard from Genki again. <gasps> Guacamole! That book was so terrifying! Ah! Why did my teacher ban me to the library? Oh, stay out of the horror section. Creepy! What, 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 what was that? That was creepy. Okay, I'm probably just having a, a crazy wild imagination right now because I just read that book, Tiki Tiki, and it was really creepy, and I'm probably just freaking out. It's 11.59, so I can go home in a minute anyway. Ah! What was that? Okay, it was probably just like a mouse or something. Oh, the lunch lady probably left out something she shouldn't and the mice are trying to eat it. Yeah, that's definitely it. But I'm going home now. Definitely going home. Ah! Wow. School is really dark. Why is it so dark in here? Well, it is midnight. The janitor probably just turned off all the lights. But still, it's really creepy. It's a scratching sound again. Molly. Okay, that was definitely not a mouse. A mouse wouldn't be saying my name. Uh, really freaking out right now. Whoa, did you guys just see that? Ah, how am I going to get out of here? That's in front of the exit. Molly. <laughs> Molly. Oh my god. Guys, if you see that tiki tiki behind me, will you let me know? Please. She's gone. I don't hear her. Molly. Ah! Ah! 
Cupcake with peanut butter frosting. <gasps> oh no, the soccer ball went towards town. Oh. Bye. Okay, Daisy, you can run and get that. Molly, it's about to go into the ocean. I don't think so. You can run and get it. I say this is um Brookhaven, so we can just spawn a new uh soccer ball. And Daisy, what are you doing? Come on. I loved that soccer ball. It was my favorite. Yes, but Daisy, I can spawn another one right now. Watch. Dun -dun -dun -dun. But that one was mine. This one can be yours, too. Ay, ay, ay. Molly, oh, no. We came to town the hill again. Run, Daisy. Run as fast as you can. There it goes, Molly. It's gone forever down to the ocean. That's why they give you limitless um, soccer balls in Brookhaven. What's Sarah doing over here? Oh, look. Uh, I just made a Snapchat of how much of a loser you guys were. Is that why you were stopped in the street? Yeah. Hey, losers. Wow, I can see that you're still a bully. Maybe I should make a Snapchat about how rude you're being right now. Whatever. Hey, guys! Brookie! Hey! Whoa, why are you dressed like that? Yeah, did you get a job or something? Yeah, at Losers R Us. Sarah, jeez. She's really being such a bully today. Oh, <laughs> no, I got a job um, at the courthouse getting coffee for everybody and stuff. Just one day a week, but I was able to buy this sweet new bike with the money. Awesome! So how do you like it? No, it's going pretty good, except for this, this room that they always keep locked. I just saw somebody go in there and then close their door right behind them. But through the crack of the door, I could definitely see something. Coffee delivery! Quiet. She's going to hear you. Oh, I don't want any coffee. Get out. Um, okay. Whoa. You're saying you heard voices coming from the box that said stay out? Yeah. It was really weird and creepy. That reminds me of this time that I was at the library and I went into the restricted section of the library to look for a very, very specific science book. But anyway, um, I read this story in there about these monsters who live in Brookhaven and, and they come and steal your voices while you sleep at night. It hasn't happened in over 50 years, but I feel like maybe they're coming back. What? What? That sounds ridiculous. You guys are such babies. No one believes that. Well, then how do you explain the voices coming from the box? Yeah, it was so weird. But I'm still going to go back for my job tomorrow because, like, I need the money. <laughs> I'm going to buy a basket for my bike and I'm going to get a bunch of new stuff, so I need the money. I can't believe it. The monsters that steal your voice are back. Ugh, whatever. You guys are so lame. Why did I even stop to talk to you losers? Oh, yeah, because I wanted to make fun of you for a Snapchat. <laughs> whatever. Bye. Sarah! Well, at least she didn't make the Snapchat of us. Yeah, exactly. She's so rude sometimes. Totally. Well, maybe you can investigate that box with all the voices more tomorrow. I don't know. They keep it in a top-secret room that's always locked. Even the guy that was holding the box, he didn't even want a coffee or anything. He just told me to get out. Yeah, pretty sure the monsters are back. Stop saying that. You're freaking me out. Nobody sleep with their both of their eyes closed tonight because the monster might come and steal your voice. Well, <laughs> so glad you guys were here to talk for a little bit, but I got to go home and do my homework. Well, now you're just leaving after you told us that scary thing? Sorry, I thought you'd want to know. Marley, don't worry. Just don't sleep at all tonight. Oh, yeah, I'll never sleep ever again. Good idea, Daisy. Uh, Marty, what are you doing? It's a bedtime. I'm making a Snapchat in case it's the last thing anybody ever sees of me. 
Molly, I'm sure everything's gonna be fine. The monsters who steal your voices haven't been here in 50 years. They probably moved on to Blacksburg or life together or something. Hi, everybody. It's me, Molly. I'm making this Snapchat to let you know that I think the evil monsters that steal your voice are back in Brookhaven. If this is the last Snapchat you can hear me in, I love you and I'll miss you all. Molly, just go to bed. Quit being so ridiculous. Well, you're the one that freaked me out, but okay, fine. Not gonna sleep. Not gonna sleep. Turning off the light now, Molly. Can't we sleep with the light on? No, Molly. Not gonna sleep. Eyes are open. Not gonna sleep. Ah, it's so dark in here. It's okay. I'm not gonna sleep. I'm not gonna sleep. I'm not gonna sleep. I'm gonna stay <sighs> awake all night long. see why this is such a bad thing okay okay quit freaking out I mean you are silent which is kind of nice <laughs> it's not nice help me wait this monster came in your dweebs is that a yes okay that's a yes hop once for yes hop twice for no did the monster come in your dreams was he super creepy do you feel like you can make any noises at all no? Well, you can still make a fart noise, apparently. Ew, Molly. I fart when I 
I'm scared. Is that really a thing, Molly? I also had bean burrito last night before bed, too. Ay, 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 Molly. What are we gonna do? Your voice is gone. I mean, besides celebrating. He'll be back for your voice, too, Daisy? Oh, I don't think so. Where are we gonna find your voice if it's gone forever? Okay, I think I'm supposed to follow Molly. I'm gonna follow her, and maybe she has an idea of what to do. Hey, guys, what are you doing here? I'm not really supposed to have visitors when I'm at my work. Uh, but we have a big problem. You know, I was telling you about those monsters I read in the restricted area of the, of the, of the library at Brookhaven? Well, they came and stole Molly's voice last night. See, she can't say anything. And while I would normally celebrate that, I think these monsters could be coming for us all. What? Are you serious? Totally, Brookie. We need to get into that room and, and see if Molly's voice is hidden in their box. Well, the man, well, the guy who guards that room, he just went out to pick up some bagels for breakfast. I don't know, guys. It's usually locked. Well, let's see if we can pick the lock. Come on, we have to get Molly's voice out of that box. Um, don't think that I'm a criminal or anything, but I am pretty good at figuring out how locks work. Except for this one. This one is like some special lock. Oh, look, Molly has something to say. Back up. Um, okay, Molly, what are you planning? <laughs> oh, no, Boogie, plug your nose! to get in there. Oh, look, but yeah, it worked. Look, here's the box of voices. Doesn't seem to be making much noise right now. Well, maybe we should open it and get Molly's voice back. What if it's like opening Pandora's box? This might be a bad idea. Okay, okay, Molly. We know you want your voice back. Okay, Bookie. Open the box! that was on us for trying to get your voice out of there. Yay! 
Oh my god, but all those people who have annoying things about their voices, um, they're still stuck in there. I know, Molly. They might be doomed for life. Feels good to be able to talk again. Sarah? What's going on? Help? My voice is gone? Oh no, the monster thought her voice was annoying. Well, she is a bully. Um, should we tell her how to solve it? Well, maybe we could just leave her silent for, you know, just a few minutes. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Sarah, but we're enjoying the quiet. No bullying from you for at least, well, the rest of the day. <laughs> Molly, stop doing your annoying laugh. The monster might come back. Oh, sorry. Should I laugh like this? <laughs> Molly, it's the weekend. I know. Huh? I feel like a total sloth. Very slow moving. And basically, sometimes not moving at all. Yeah, exactly. Girls, girls! Uh-oh. Here comes Miss Busy Bee. You mean Miss Queen Bee. She makes us do all the chores on the weekends. Ugh, I hate it. Okay, girls, I have a checklist of all the things we need to complete today. What? No, Mom, we don't want to do anything. It's Saturday. Actually, girls, that's why we're doing everything, because during the week we have a bunch of things to do, school and after-school activities, sometimes attention for you, Molly, and a bunch of other things, like, I don't know, getting groceries and blah, 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 blah. <sighs> it's never ending, really. And I need your help. Mom, no! It's the weekend! I refuse! Okay, well, then you just be grounded. Oh, I don't refuse. Mom! All right. DC, you do the laundry. Molly, you do some vacuuming. Blah! This is so annoying! Why does my mom always make me do all the vacuuming every single weekend? <sighs> Watch out, Molly! I'm, you almost ran into me. I almost dumped the laundry everywhere. Molly, why are you... Are you trying to run around me in circles and make me dizzy? Yeah, pretty much. Okay, I, I, I really need you to stop doing that. I have to check things off my checklist. I'm gonna get you with the vacuum, Mom. I'm gonna get you. Molly, I need to do these dishes. Stop! Molly, you and your tricks. So what is it? This is insane. Why is it that we always have to work all the time? What is wrong with Mom? She's the only mom that makes kids do chores on the weekends. I swear it. Well, what are you thinking, Molly? Well, I have this spell book from the library at school. Oh, no, that's a horrible idea. Actually, I think it's a great idea. <laughs> we could cast a spell and see what Mom's thinking. How are we going to do that? We can go inside her brain. Ew, gross. It's probably squishy in there. Exactly. <laughs> All these chores would make anybody's brain squishy. So are you in? I guess, Molly, but I still say this might be a bad idea. Sure beats doing all the laundry, though, doesn't it? Sure does. Molly, I don't hear that vacuum running. That's because I'm about to cast a spell on you, Mom. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, right. No such thing as spells. We'll see about that. Alakazam. Alakazam! Let's shrink down and go inside Mom's brain! Molly, it's working! What's going on, girls? Why are you so tiny and keep getting smaller? Just hold still, Mom. This won't hurt a bit. Whoa, this is crazy! I think I'm going to throw up. Yep, definitely. Blech. No wonder it's squishy in Mom's brain. There's throw up for Molly everywhere. Ew. Whoa, look at all these things on Mom's checklist. Hardware store. Clean the entire house. Get groceries at Walmart. Oh, my God. She's got so much to do. No wonder she's stressed out. What are we doing at Lowe's? I don't know, Molly, but it's dark in here and kind of creepy. Oh, man. Oh, I got here after they closed. Oh, no. Now how am I ever going to find what I need? Let's see. Screws, nuts, and bolts. <laughs> I always say that Dan has a screw loose. <laughs> now he has me here in the nut, screw, and bolt section looking for new screws for the treadmill because it broke and I have no idea what I'm looking for. <sighs> Daisy, what was that? Are you, are you hungry? No, Molly, and if I was, the only thing I could eat would be Mom's brain, which would make me a zombie. <laughs> Okay, that's kind of funny. Oh, seriously, I heard something really creepy in here. 
Okay, I'm out of here. What was that sound? Oh, it's probably the sound of my stomach. Hello? Is anyone there? I really need these screws for the treadmill. How am I going to work out? Ugh, I hate when Dan sends me on these trips to Lowe's. I have no idea what I'm looking for. <laughs> Ooh, look at this flooring. I could totally use a new floor in my bathroom. <laughs> I hate that 1980s carpet. It has to go. <laughs> tweet, tweet. What, what was... Ah! What is that? It's a, it's a, a, a skeleton bird? What was our skeleton bird doing here? Ah, get away from me. <laughs> I always fly in here with my flock, and then they close the doors and I can't get out, and I'm hungry. And guess what? <laughs> I ran into one of the windows, and <clears throat> that was the end of me. Oh my gosh, that's horrible. Uh, maybe uh, I can hide up here in these refrigerators because you're freaking me out. Get away from me. <laughs> I just want to finish my chores. And there's a skeleton bird chasing me all over Lowe's. It's not my fault they locked you in here and you flew into a window. Maybe you need a bigger brain. What? Did you call me a little tiny brain? Yeah, I did. Minuscule, tiny little brain. Okay, wait. I have to find the door before I make these sorts of comments. Now leave me alone. Oh, I just wanted a friend. <laughs> Holy guacamole! Yeah, tell me about it. Mom's trip to Lowe's was weird and creepy. Who knew that birds flew in there? I do. I hear them tweeting every time Dad takes me to the hardware store. Yeah, well, who knew they got trapped in there? Yeah, I think that bird met his end in a sad kind of way. Daisy, I think we're leaving this memory! Whoa! Daisy, are we giant strawberries? I think we are, Molly. What's this all about? Oh, so many chores. So, so many chores. Dishes and cooking and cleaning. Taking care of the girls. Doing laundry. Um, I think this is my, how mom feels about her life. <laughs> Holy guacamole. Look at this kitchen, Molly. It's like a giant abbey. Yeah, I think that's exactly what it is. Where do we go next? I'll lead the way. I'm Head Strawberry Heel. <laughs> head Strawberry. Hmm. This is delicious. Don't eat anything in the kitchen. I have to save it for that party for the girls. Molly's birthday party is coming. I have to make lots of treats. Wow, Mom's freaking out. Well, it sounds like she's just stressed out because she's got a lot of things. Ah! I died in Mom's kitchen brain! Molly, you need to be more careful. That's not how the memory goes. And if you die, you might change Mom's memories. Oh, I see what she's doing for my birthday party. S'mores! Remember that birthday, Molly? Yeah, I do. It was amazing. We camped out in the backyard. We made s'mores. Mom made apple pie. Oh, it was so delicious. Ew, watch out for the rotten bananas. Ew, 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 ew. Oh, my gosh. One touch me. Ah! Ah! Oh, my gosh. Ah! I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Oh, man. Molly, what did I say? Don't keep dying. Okay, it's not easy when you're trying to dodge these giant rotten bananas. And what's that on the on the counter? I think it's where one of the, the bananas melted. Ew, gross. I have so much to do. I don't have time for all of this. My life feels like one giant rotten banana. I'm always cleaning and cooking. Wow, Mom needs a vacation. You're not kidding, Molly. Watch out for those rolling pins. <laughs> They'll flatten you. Molly, get off the dough. It's hot. Just trying to get it out of the oven, I guess. Like guacamole. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh! Oh, my goodness, Molly. You're dying so many times. Okay, I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> Just gotta stay on this rolling pin. Wait, are we gonna ever escape this kitchen? Uh, yeah. I think if we go to a different memory, everything will be cool. Okay, well, how do we do that? I think we just have to think about it. Or maybe Mom does. Mom, send us to a different memory! Whoa, I think she heard us! Oh, we're at Walmart. Mom must need groceries. I hate Walmart. I hate it so much. Why would you hate Walmart? Walmart's amazing. Hey, open the doors. <laughs> For a minute, I thought they were closed. Oh, look, there's other people shopping. It doesn't matter if you come in here at 10 a.m. or 1 p.m. or 1 a.m. 
There's always somebody shopping at Walmart. La 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 la. Ooh, do they have my favorite cereal? Homer Cinnamon Donut. Ooh, I love that. I am more of a sugar smacks kind of girl. Yeah, I like them both. I hope mom gets these when she's at the grocery store. Oh my gosh, the shelves are empty. Must be they're having a supply chain issue again. Oh, mom, don't freak out. I think she is freaking out, Molly. Whoa, look at all the computers. Molly, don't stand on them. What are you, crazy? Hey, look, there's somebody climbing at the top of the shelves. These are the people of Walmart. Save great um, and do all the things at Walmart. Daisy, what are you singing? Ah! Does anybody notice these people of Walmart look a little bit like zombies? Ah, they are zombies! These are the people of Walmart. Save and look great at Walmart. I think they look like zombies, Mom. And why is Mom here when they're zombies? Um, just a newsflash. Every time I've been to Walmart, there's somebody that looks like a zombie there. Ugh, totally brain dead. Molly! I'm just saying. And they're usually wearing pajama pot bottoms, too, with Spongebob on them. <laughs> ah! They're all after me! All the Walmart workers are after me. I don't think those are workers, Molly. I think those are customers. Well, they can't have the last box of sugar smacks. Those are mine! Molly, I think they actually took the last box. Gosh, no wonder Mom's so stressed! She's got to fight all these people at Walmart for the last box of sugar smacks! Ah! Molly, let's get out of here! I don't like it in Mom's brain! Not even a little bit! Ooh, they have a sale on kick cereal. Nah, I don't like that one. Ah! We're heading back out of Mom's brain! Girls, did you just go inside my brain? Ah, that was creepy! And it's also making my ears really itchy! Ah! Ah! Mom, it's okay. We just wanted to see why you were so crazy sometimes. Yeah, Mom. You get cray-cray about chores and all sorts of things. And we just wondered why. Now I know why. It is crazy town in there. Uh-oh. The shrinking of magic is wearing off of me. Are you saying I'm crazy? No, I'm just saying you've got a lot on your plate, Mom. Molly, you're full grown again and totally standing on the counter. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> Mom, what I'm trying to say is maybe there's a compromise here. We'll help you do chores since your life seems pretty busy and stressful as a mom. Oh, wow, thanks. But only for two hours on Saturday. Then the rest of the weekend is for fun. All right, but you still have to take a bath before school on Sunday night and wash behind your ears. Of course, Mom, of course. Mom, we're sorry we gave you a hard time. Your life seems tougher than I thought. That's why I'm never growing up. Not ever! Excuse me, excuse me, teacher. Teacher, hello, are you listening? What, what do you want? Um, besides the fact that your tooth looks kind of like a dirty marshmallow, I have to go potty. <laughs> it's true, she's been farting all morning. Oh, I can't stand it, let her go to the bathroom. Yeah, remember the classmate you didn't let go to the bathroom? He died. I have to go potty, please. You are so annoying. All you do is run to the bathroom so you don't have to do your schoolwork. You're not allowed to go. Oh, I have to go. The door's open. I'm making a break for it. See you later, crazy. Get back here. You're going to get detention for life. Uh -huh. See ya. Daisy, um, are you going to escape with me? Molly, you get me in so much trouble. Molly, there's a bully outside the vest room. Uh-oh, looks like sick. Make a mistake, and you'll fart. Fart ten times, and you'll poop yourself. <laughs> Don't poop yourself, or all progress is lost. Ooh, I love your rainbow hair. So pretty. I got a cute unicorn backpack. You're always getting me into trouble, Molly. Um, yeah, but it's, it's fun trouble because it's in Roblox. Ooh, we made it to the first save. Yeah, what are we going to do when we get over to that, that bully? I don't know. Probably just ask him nicely to move because I have to use the bathroom. OMG, I'm collecting toilet paper. That is too funny. <laughs> you think a 
I'm going to let you go to the bathroom? <laughs> I don't think so. Please. I have to go poo poo. <laughs> I don't think so. Come on, Sid. I just really have to go. I'm going to go poo poo my pants if you don't let me. <laughs> I don't think so. Is that all you can say? Oh, he's so annoying. I guess I'll have to escape to my house by going through this crazy plungers and like out the other side or whatever. There's more toilet paper. Collect them all. Oh man, I just farted. Yeah, Molly, remember it says if you die, um, you uh, you let out a big fart. And if you let out ten farts, you'll poop yourself and you have to start back over in the classroom. Well, that would be very bad because I really have to go potty right now. Oh, look at all these poop emojis. <laughs> uh, Molly, I'm thinking maybe the toilet's on the second floor flooded. Ooh. Ew! Someone, like, totally plugged up the toilet. Gross! Where are we supposed to go now? Um, I think walk through the toilet water. Ew! This game is so weird. Whee! Oh, I see a shiny thing of toilet paper. Ah! Oh, man, I farted again. Yeah, because you keep dying, you only have eight more chances, and you get to start from the beginning. Not gonna happen. Not starting back over from the beginning. I can't believe a bully was blocking the toilet. That's just a whole nother level of crazy. Melly, I think we're supposed to go this way to escape. Look at the happy little poop emojis. I don't think they're friendly, though. Class in session. Do not interrupt. I totally want to see what they're doing in there. Oh, they're in gym class. Okay, yeah, I definitely don't want to go in gym class. Giant rolls of toilet paper. Oh, no. Hurry, <laughs> Molly, before you get smushed. Look, at even the thing is toilet paper. Like, the, <laughs> the floor is toilet paper. I kind of want to do that down the stairs at my house now. Don't get any ideas, Molly. Mom and Dad would be so mad if you waste the toilet paper. I could roll it back up after I'm done. Wouldn't that be fun to roll the toilet paper down the stairs? Whee! I think that'd be really fun to entertain myself. You're so crazy, Molly. Seriously. Yes! I didn't even fart that time. Dun, da, da, da. I got to the next part. What are these crazy things? Ah! <laughs> that was so dramatic. Look at me. I'm like, oh. Wait a minute, am I going to poop myself? That would be so bad. Where am I walking to? Oh, I'm walking out to like a football field or whatever. Uh-oh. Oh, I love her outfit. Look, it's got like candy corns on it. It's all like Halloween and stuff. Wow, that is cool, Amali. It's like, it's like the school mascots are like all into Halloween and stuff. Oh, man. What are these guys doing? Are they like the cheerleading rejects or something? Do like jump on them. Oh, I'm so Ooh. sorry about that. Whee! Okay, this is really fun. I'm liking this game a whole lot. Except for I've had to go to the bathroom and I can't get out of here. OMG! Where do we go now? Oh, I see toilet paper over there. Well, I guess we have to avoid the football players. I right, got it. Oh man, gotta run! Whoa. Oh, wait. Ah, no, no. Don't kill me, please. I don't want to die. Oh, there's a big one at the end. Oh, he must be like a linebacker. Ah, he's chasing me. Run, Molly, as fast as you can. I'm trying. I'm going through this poo-poo trail right now. And it's very unpleasant. Beware of the poop monster. Oh, this doesn't sound too good. Daisy, are you going to catch up? I'm coming, Molly, but why don't you wait for me for a change? Yeah, that would be a crazy change. Normally, I'm the winner. Molly, no, you're never the winner. I'm always the winner. Well, not today, you're not. Ew, look at all the flies on the poop. That's weird <laughs> and gross. Dun, 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 dun. I made it to the next part. Aw, uh, how many things of toilet paper do I need to actually collect? I don't think it even says... Yes! Oh, I'm walking into an outhouse. Finally! 
I'm so happy. I'm doing my happy poo poo dance. So happy. What? Ah, oh, you smushed the toilet. Oh. <laughs> just when I thought I could go potty. Ah, okay, I'll just use the locker room in the gym, I guess. Maybe. Oh, God, this game is like so much pressure. Ah! Oh, I farted and I died. Do, do, do. Okay. Huh, huh. Maddie, you got this. Don't panic. Holy macaroni and cheese. That was stressful. Seriously, you made me die, Daisy. Rude. What? No, I didn't. Yes, you did. You, like, pushed me in. I have a lot less lives than you. All right, all right. I'll try not to cut you off ever again. Uh-huh. Sure you won't. Sisters are so annoying. Oh, my God. Everyone in this school is, like, so sad. Actually, she doesn't look sad. She's, like, laughing or something. I don't know. Ah! Or scared. Whee! OMG! This Abby is cray cray! Whoa! Oh, and then I touched a poop? Whoopsie. Ew, I gotta wash my hands. What are we supposed to do now? Oh, Airstream. Wow, um, the gym teacher is from another game, guys. Um, if you guys don't remember that game, you can check it out on our channel, but... He was in another obby. So was it the Sid Bully Kid, too. Ah! Well, that tries to, like, push you over. No! I don't think so. You're not taking me down, giant poo-poo fan. Whoa. Whoa! Oh, no! Ah. Daisy even died on that one. It's hard. Stop it! And then it makes it harder because there's poops everywhere. I like to stay as far away as I can. Ah! I hope I have Robux and I hope they let me buy a second chance because I'm probably going to need it. Go prairie dogs. Ha! <laughs> Drop it like it's hot! Is there a skip the stage? Uh, I really need it right now. VIP, a poo nuke, revive. Um, a fart attack. <laughs> Make all players fart once. Uh, no skip the stage. Ugh. Harsh. But I'll never give up and never surrender. Because I can do anything. If I put my mind to it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm following it. I'm trying to run like so fast too. Oh my god, no! Ooh. Oh, guys, I just keep dying there. Oh man, Molly, yeah, you're gonna have to start over. What? That would be tragic. Holy macaroni and cheese, this is hard. Ah! I have to survive. I've only got so many farts left before this poo poo comes out. <laughs> Then you're just stuck in the classroom with crazy lady. I think I mastered it though. Just stay right here next to the wall while it's going by. Wait till it goes by and then stand there again. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, go! <laughs> it only took me about 20 minutes to figure this out, but hey, I eventually did. <laughs> You're ruining my gym class! You're ruining everything! Um, okay. Uh-oh. Wait, no, he just has to go to the bathroom. <laughs> He's trying to make it seem like the students are mad. He's mad at the students, but no. He just had to go poop. <clears throat> he just didn't want to tell you that. He literally was so embarrassed. But now he's using the bathroom, and I can't. Uh, yeah, Molly. He blew up both toilets on that one. Yeah. Oh, yuck! Come on, Molly, let's go up into that vent. Maybe we can find a way out and go home. Ooh, it's a maze. How am I gonna ever get out? Uh, I don't think we're supposed to go this way, Daisy. Nope, that's just a poop vent. Yeah. 
I don't want to be stuck in here in the poop fence. It smells bad. Like the bog of eternal stench. Ooh, a shiny toilet paper. I never thought I'd be so excited about collecting toilet papers. <laughs> Molly, I think it's probably this way. You may be right. You may be wrong. I'm not really sure, though. Oh, well, let's find out, Molly. I want you to go first. Oh, I'm in this stinky garbage. Ew. OMG, guys. It's, I think her name is Alice, the lunch lady. Oh, all of our favorite Obby characters are in here, guys. If you have not played this, don't poop at school, Obby. You can see all of your favorite Obby characters in this game. It's actually really fun. Just saying. Ah! Okay, yeah, don't touch that. Duh, Molly, I could have told you that. Weren't you just so perfect at Abby's? Oh, no, guys. I think it might be a goner. Uh -oh. oh, I saved it. And I got a toilet paper. I almost said a taco. Wishful thinking, I guess. Hey, <laughs> yeah. I'd definitely rather be collecting tacos than toilet paper. I don't know. If I eat too many tacos, I need to collect toilet paper. Okay, I cannot see where I'm going even. This is like ridiculous. Oh, phew. That was a close one. Come on, Molly, let's go in here. This might be able to be a place where you could find a toilet. Um, this looks like where the toilet flushes. Look at all these rats. Ah! Ew, gross. This must be the, well, I don't know. There's a toilet down there, so it's not really the sewer. Well, any bathroom's good for me, even if it is the sewer. Uh, come on, Mr. Rat. I need you to get lost. Ah! Ugh. Molly, are you running out of farts? <coughs> just about, Daisy, just about. Whew, I made it. Crazy rats. Uh-oh! Well, this isn't good. Not good at all. Now where am I supposed to go? This is very confusing. Oh, that's a different colored rat that I haven't seen before. So I'm going to go that way. I think I'm supposed to go down this ledge. Oh, I think. I hope. Daisy? We're here, Molly. Congratulations. Yes. Wait, there's people like... Frozen in that gross stuff. <gasps> Poor people. They didn't even make it. I know, right? That could have been us, Daisy. But we survived it. We always do somehow, Molly. And if it's you, it's because you bought a lot of Robux. <laughs> yeah. I know. Not even going to try to deny that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Making me dizzy. We did it. This is supposed to be the crazy lady's uh, kitchen, but I don't know what she's cooking up because it's gross. Well, there she is. Ow. Oh, man. And Daisy got chopped, chopped too. Three, two, one, go. Oh, okay. I'm going to go again. What? This part is insane. Are you kidding me? There's like knives everywhere. At least I think I do. Like the minute you step on this thing, around and around and around it goes. Oh, I'm almost there. Yay, finally. Oh, that was the hardest moment of my life. Yeah, that part is hard, I gotta say. I hope I never have to do it again. Ah! Oh, good. It took me past there, though. Yay! Yes, Molly, but now you're down to ten farts. Oh, man. Things are getting kind of rough around here. You can do this, Molly. I believe in you. Thanks, Daisy. I needed your help. Just by believing in me, you made it possible for me to, to get to the other side. With seven s silly farts to spare. <laughs> hey, look, Molly. A toilet. <laughs> Hooray! I can finally go poo-poo. <laughs> Molly, did you get detention? Nah. He said there was one more potty down the hall. And that it wasn't closed. Seriously? Yay! Molly! Hooray! You finally 
to get to go poo poo. And now I have to go too. Um, uh, Daisy, uh -oh. it looks like the hallway is very far away. Staff only restroom. Oh, oh I've, I've got to make it there. Of course we will, Molly. Of course we will. Come on, Molly. No pressure or anything. Yeah, four farts left. Ow. If I die, I'll be humiliated at school forever. This game is called Don't Poop Poopy Yourself at School. And it's just seeming like oh, I'm going to poop myself at school. <laughs> if I'm being totally honest, I just, I'm thinking that that, that might be the case. Look at this giant poop factory. This isn't good. Ew! So gross! How come they gave up on the happy little poop poops from the beginning? The beginning of the game. Now they're just like big angry poops. Molly, you're doing so good! It's almost like you're not playing or something. No! I'm just... I have to go so bad. I just... I, I'm a one-track mind right now. Oh wait, Molly, you go first. This looks scary. She just wants to see me die, I think. But what is you poop yourself at school? <laughs> oh! Three lives left, Daisy. Do you have any Robux, Molly? I think you're gonna need them. Uh, I didn't realize this game was gonna be so challenging, so, um... Yeah, no. I don't think I have any Robux to buy more lives. Molly! Yeah, I know. I should've worn a diaper today. I should've borrowed one from my sister. Oh my god, would you like to purchase an extra fart? Yes. <laughs> oh, I have Robux! Bum, ba, da, dum, bum, bum, bum. Guys, I think I might actually make it to the end of the game because I do have Robux. Ooh. Remember that game Fod Attack? You'd buy Fod Stale. Here goes all my money. I'm watching it disappear into the smelliest form. The fart form. <laughs> You're funny, Molly. Wait, what? Wow. I think I just pooped. Ah! Oh, what? <gasps> oh! Okay, now I'm paying $99 to revive. Well, they're Robux, not dollars, but still. Oh, I've got 10 farts left. Oh, did you guys see that? I just like pooped to outer space. That was crazy. <laughs> Molly, I, I don't even know what to say. I don't see you doing it. So watching you die over and over and over is kind of funny. Oh, almost there. Okay, how do I get past all these poops? Don't be smiling at me, you little, you little poops. I don't know if they're smiling or grimacing. They kind of look like, I've got to go to the bathroom really bad. I thought they were smiling, but I don't know. OMG, what? What? You're not going anywhere. Mrs. Duty? Or I'm gonna, I'm gonna smack you with this plunger. <laughs> look at me guys. I'm literally sticking plungers to her. <laughs> this game is amazing. You know what she's throwing at me? Hall passes. Detention cards, I think. Like denied either a detention um card or like my hall pass is denied. Mrs. Duty 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 Pants. And you're ugly too! Stuck it like right to her arms. <laughs> I wanna stick one to her face. The one stuck on the wall. <laughs> yeah, less talking. Oh, a giant poop landed on her. Oh, see you later, Mrs. Duty. Finally, we're going to the bathroom. Oh, wait, I think I'm on the other side. Wait, where's the toilets? I see sinks. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Eat or go poop. shiny toilet since I have zero wins please wash your hands 
You only win until you wash your hands. Then you can't win until you wash them. I don't know if it let me or not. Did I actually wash my hands? Okay, I think I did. Oh, I got the good ending! Cool! <laughs> Everyone's cheering for me. Oh, I got a giant award because I went poop. Ooh. Steel cheeks. Ha ha ha! Ha 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 ha! Okay, this game was hilarious. Daisy, did you get the good ending or bad ending? Still trying to get through all this craziness before I die. Well, that's a change. I actually won. Usually Daisy beats me. Chips for noobs. That sounds delicious. Mommy, don't eat anything else. You're going to have to go to the bathroom when you have to go through this all over again. But chips for noobs. Everyone is so excited. You guys should vote for me for class president. Most likely to leave class to poop, too. <laughs> you, Daisy. Did you get the good ending? Uh, yeah, Molly, but uh, yours says you have don't have a win. What? Yours says one, and it's got a zero on it, too. Don't go back in there, because that's back to the start. But I don't know why yours says um you didn't get in a win, because you did. I don't know. I guess it's a glitch in the game, but it was still really fun. Hey, guys, thanks so much for watching today. Don't forget to hit subscribe, and we'll see you guys in our next video. Bye! <laughs>
was driving through a drive-thru, they backed up into my bumper. Wow, yeah, that would be the worst Monday ever. It would be the Mondayest of Mondays. Besides this epic illness that's going around, Daisy, the news already said, it's just like the cold. If you just wash your hands, you'll be fine. Do you believe everything on the news? I don't. One eternity later. Welcome to McDonald's. Here's your food. <coughs> Ew! Did she just cough on our breakfast sandwiches? Yeah, I think she did. Mom, get out of here. She's got that virus. We don't want it. Yeah, I don't want to eat someone else's germs. Thanks, but no thanks. Ugh, not what I'm going to feed you girls before you go to school. I'll have to dig around in my purse and see if there's any snacks. I'm so hungry. Well, I have a chocolate bar that you guys can split. Oh, that'll have to do, Mom. Bye, girls. Have a great day. Yeah, if you could call school, great. Bye, Mom. Okay, baby Kira, we're at your daycare. Oh, you're going to be so having so much fun today. Your teacher told me it's bubble day. Oh, I got bubble day. Let go, Mommy. Wow. Look at all the cars piled outside the emergency room. <gasps> Hello, can somebody help me? My baby, he's sick. I don't know what's wrong with him. He keeps coughing and, and I need some help. Oh, look at all these cars. I hope someone someone's available to help my baby. Please, my baby's coughing and he's sick. Oh, I don't feel so good. I wonder what this is all about. Is this that little cold that they were talking about on the news? It doesn't seem like such a little cold to me. Seems like a lot of people are getting really sick if they have to be at the hospital. Time to make some YouTube videos. What game should I play today? Weird strict dad? Oh, that game totally kind of creeped me out. What? Ugh, this computer's such a piece of junk. I thought when I upgraded from my Packard Bell that this would be so much better. Jeez, thanks, Mac. Wait, what? Okay, it's not my computer. It's actually a warning. A severe outbreak in Brookhaven? This little cold doesn't sound like such a little cold anymore. I better check the news. Hi, citizens of Brookhaven. It's me, Brittany, your friendly newscaster. And while it seems the illness has spread a little farther throughout Brookhaven, there's still no need to panic. That's what I said, no need to panic. Just wash your hands and everything will be fine. Put a smile on your face and it's the end of days. I warned everyone this day was coming. What? What's this guy doing here? Someone get this guy out of here. People, listen to me. This is going to destroy our town, just like it did other towns in Roblox. <gasps> Stay inside, lock your doors, or leave now while you still can. Um, this guy definitely has gone totally bonkers. Don't listen to him, guys. No need to panic. Would you not believe your innocent, sweet newscaster, Brittany? Don't believe this crazy guy. All right, somebody get him out of here. Come on, turn off the news feed. He's acting crazy. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Uh, hello? Honey, it's me. Honey, have you seen this crazy stuff going on at the police station too? Yes, something really strange is going on in Brookhaven. They haven't given me even that much information. But you're a police officer. They should tell you what's going on. All we know is this virus is spreading. I think you need to go get the girls. Yeah, I agree. Then go right back home and lock the door. And don't let anybody inside. Honey, is everything okay? Can you come home? I need to stay here at the station and help out with the other police officers. But go get the girls right now. I will, honey. Stay safe. You too. Bye. Daisy, there's mom! There's mom! Oh, thank goodness! Mom! Girls, what are you doing outside the school? Um, our teacher has gone a little bit, well, bonkers. <coughs> hungry. So hungry. <coughs> Holy guacamole! She must have the virus! Yeah, but don't worry, Mom. We didn't get near her. We were in the back of the classroom. 
All right, girls, get in the van. Come on. We need to go pick up your baby sister. And quick. Yeah, something really crazy is going on here. I just knew this was going to happen. As a budding scientist, we see these sorts of things in our theories all the time. Wait. Where is everybody at Baby Care's daycare? Uh, maybe they evacuated. Things have gotten kind of crazy around here. OMG. Girls, we have to find her. Don't worry, Mom. We will. We'll find her. Baby Kira? She's not in any of these cribs. Um, let me look over here, Mom. Okay, no, she's not over here, Weevil. Oh my gosh, where is she? Baby Kira? Baby Kira? <laughs> Mom? <gasps> Baby Kira, are you okay? I I didn't heal because everybody was coughing and acting crazy. <coughs> oh, it's okay, Baby Kira. Come on. Mom's here and Daisy's here and I'm here. We're going to get out of here now. Come on. What? A police helicopter? That can't be good. Come on, girls. Get inside. They're sending helicopters all over the town. Dad said to stay inside and lock the doors. Don't open them for anyone. Whoa, this is cool. Hurry up, Molly, lock the door. Okay, it's locked. We're safe, Mom. Everything's fine. Uh... Molly, did you not eat enough lunch? Your stomach's growling. Uh, that wasn't me. <sighs> what was that sound? I don't know. It sounded like it was coming from upstairs. I so wish that was your stomach, Molly. Well, it's not. Sorry to disappoint. <sighs> I'll go check. I'm kind of afraid. But since I'm the only grown-up here, I guess I have to be brave. Whoever it is, just know I'm armed. Mom, you have a mop. Well, it's all I had, okay? Shh. What's that awful smell? Ew. What? What's that? <sighs> Girls, go back and get in the car. Hurry! But you just told us to come in here and lock the door. Girls, do what I say! Cheapers, creepers, I wish she'd make up her mind. All right, Daisy, come on. Let's go get back in the car. Oh, my gosh. I, I, I can't open the door. Molly, hurry up. Mom said to hurry. Okay, I'm hurrying. I'm hurrying. Do you think Bob's coming? Is everything okay? I get your boy. Yeah, yeah, you get your boy. Maybe Kira, just put on your seatbelt. Mom, hurry! I don't know what's going on, but it sounds like it's not good. I'm coming, girls. I'm coming. Mom, what's going on? And did you find a rat up there or something? No, I found somebody infected with this virus. They were like totally like a like a. This is gonna sound crazy, but like a zombie. We have to leave town. And I need to call your dad and tell him to hur hurry and meet us at the border. What? No answer? What's happening? I don't know, Daisy, but mom can't get a hold of dad. He'd want me to just take you guys somewhere else, to a new town. We're going to Blacksburg. Mom, do you need directions? Of course I do! I don't even... I don't live in Blacksburg. I don't know how to get there. Okay, just... GPS and everything will be fine. Mom, um, I don't want to live in Blacksburg. Well, do you want to live where there's a zombie apocalypse? Not particularly. Exactly my point. What? There's some sort of police installation blocking the way out of Brookhaven. <gasps> oh my gosh. Why? I don't know. They want to keep us here. But the bigger question is, who put up this police tape? It looks ridiculous. <laughs> I did. Oh, that explains a lot. No one's allowed to cross over this border. If you live in Brookhaven, you're stuck here. <laughs> what? But but there's a virus in... And you might have it. So no can do. Mom, um, he's not really looking at us. Yes, I am. No, no you're not. I am looking at you. Okay, I can't really tell. But what I'm saying is, is that... Oh, yeah, I don't think so. There's probably more cops inside there. Uh -oh. Is that a person they have trapped back there? Wait, there's more than one. Hey, you're not supposed to cross police line. Yeah, okay, whatever. Hungry. So hungry. Oh, well, it's a good thing for 
for you that I packed some pizza in my backpack. It may be a little smushed, but uh, it's still tasty. And you really look hungry, so I want you to have it. Ew, that smells gross. But your brain smells delicious. Ah! What? My brain? That's why I said don't cross police lines. Ah! Oh my gosh, Mom. This wasn't the common cold. This is a giant apocalypse. Oh my God, Mommy, go get in the car, quick. Mom, where are we going to go? I'm sure that no one's out there. My mom and dad used to take me there when I was camping, when we were camping as kids. And I don't think anybody knows about it but me and your dad. I hope we're safe there. Dad will know to meet us there. I just know it. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I think that the zombies are cool. Oh, yeah, no. Zombies are not cool. Zombies are not cool. <laughs> <laughs>